Let's look at another example of the AX2 family of ceramic materials where there is one cation, two anions, right? So look at the fluorite structure. The fluorite structure is calcium fluorite structure. Now, what should, how do we know that the coordination number is eight? How could we have known that ahead of time? Let's look up the size of calcium and fluorine. When I do so, calcium's right here. It's gonna be 1.12 about, and fluorine is going to be uh, something like 1.31. So 1.12 divided by 1.31 is 0 0.84. That's almost one, and that means that this is definitely going to be a coordination number of eight. So if the cation is surrounded by eight anions, which one of these in this picture is the cation versus the anion, right? In this picture, the size is wrong because this guy looks small, but this one is actually the anion. And this one right here must be the cation. Vesta doesn't always put in the correct sizes unless you tell it the oxidation state, right? So it doesn't know the oxidation state, so it assumed it incorrectly. Here, the cation, right, this one is going to be surrounded by eight of these. That may not be immediately obvious, but remember that at the corner, that's shared between eight different unit cells. And in each of those eight unit cells, one of these little atoms is one quarter along the body diagonal away from it. Let's take a look at this in Vesta. Here's the structure. Let's put a couple different unit cells up. So sure enough, if we take this atom in the dead center right there, and you looked around it, you would find eight atoms around it, right? In these different directions of the cube, you can see that it's surrounded by eight of those other atoms, right? So that's the, fl the fluorite structure. If it's surrounded by eight, another way to think of this would be to show it with the polyhedra. To do that, we have to find the bonds. So let's like, go ahead and identify the bonds. We're gonna say a new bond is calcium bonded to fluorine. Let's look three angstroms out and see what we find. Sure enough, we're able to generate these polyhedra, which are cubes in shape. And the cube is bonded to eight of these different anions around it, right? So what should be the coordination number of the anion? This anion right here, how many should it be surrounded by? Well, because it's a one to two ratio, it should have half the coordination number of the calcium, or it needs to be four. Is it though? Let's take a look. We're gonna come here, and we're gonna modify our bonds. Instead of calcium bonded to fluorine, we're gonna do fluorine bonded to calcium, so it, look, it searches the other way. And sure enough, we find a bunch of tetrahedra. Can you see these? Each individual tetrahedra. Each one of those is surrounded by four of the calcium ions. So this is the calcium fluoride structure. Another way to think of this one is what structure does this look similar to that we saw already? Hopefully you're thinking this looks similar to zinc sulfide. In the zinc sulfide structure of these eight positions, right, these ones that are occupied right now by the anions, here you can see those eight positions occupied by the anion. Remember, in the zinc blend structure, only half of these were filled. In fact, it looked like this. You could go through and you could delete a couple of these out. They have to be opposite one another. And what do you have? You have the zinc blend structure. This would now be the zinc blend structure. So these are very similar to one another. In one case, half of the interstitials are filled. And in the other case, they're all filled. So that is the fluorite crystal structure. And you could use the same rules for figuring out the lattice parameter as you did for zinc blend. In zinc blend, we said that it connects along this body diagonal. We can do the same thing here in fluorite. So it's going to be root 3 times A equals the radius of the cation plus the radius of the anion. And we could count how many atoms there are per unit cell. These large blue atoms are going to be four of those per unit cell. And there's going to be eight of these since they're completely inside. There's going to be eight anions. Therefore, it's four to eight or a one to two ratio. So everything looks okay for this structure.